Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the Carolina Hurricanes extending head coach Rod Brendamore and he will be the head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes for the foreseeable future. We'll be taking a look at that signing in this video. So let's get right into it. So Rod Brendamore signs an extension with the, Colum the Carolina Hurricanes, not the Blue Jackets, my bad. He is sticking around in Carolina. Uh, he has been with the Carolina Hurricanes organization since 2011, became the head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes in 2018, and they have had a lot of success with the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, on May 18th, Brendan Moore was hired as the Hurricanes head coach. In his first season, Brendan Moore guided the team to their first playoff berth in a decade, which was very a very big deal for them, uh, and leading them to the Eastern Conference Final where they were swept by the Boston Bruins. And yes, we will forget the part how the Islanders were one of the teams that were swept by the Carolina Hurricanes. We'll forget that part. Uh, on April 26th, Rod Brennamore became the first head coach in history to lead the team to the playoffs in three consecutive seasons. And that's what we're going to get into now. So Rod Brendamore has had a unreal career with the Carolina Hurricanes and this is a guy that the that the Hurricanes need to keep you look at where the Hurricanes have been and we knew that this was going to likely be a scenario where we we're going to see Rod Brendamore stick around I actually heard from general you know there was reports from the general manager of the Hurricanes um that listen if if he doesn't stick if Don Waddell would not be the general manager of the team if Rod Brendamore did not stay with the Hurricanes. That's how big of a deal it got in Carolina to keep Rod Brendamore in Carolina. That is just how important Rod is to this team. He was the former captain of the Carolina Hurricanes back in the day. And like they mentioned here, he is the first head coach in Carolina Hurricanes history to go on three consecutive playoff runs with the Carolina Hurricanes. This is the most success the Hurricanes have had in terms of consecutive, you know, years of of doing well. You look at what they did in year one. They beat the Washington Capitals in seven games. I remember that game seven. I was stunned. I was actually really excited. I was like, wow, we get to, the Islanders get to play the Carolina Hurricanes. Woohoo! Yeah, and then the Islanders got swept by the Carolina Hurricanes. That said series, so. Yep. But. The Boston Bruins would return the favor to the Carolina Hurricanes in the Eastern Conference Final, where the Hurricanes were swept in the Conference Final. But they did make it to the third round, and considering a team that hadn't made the playoffs in almost a decade, that was a big deal for the Hurricanes. Then next year, which was last year, they won in the qualifying round, sweeping the New York Rangers 3-0, pretty much putting the nail in the coffin for Henrik Lundqvist's career in the NHL, and uh, hopefully he returns for the Washington Capitals, but uh, his tenure in, in New York with the Rangers was pretty much put to an end by the Carolina Hurricanes in that series, but once again, the Boston Bruins would return the favor again and not sweep them. They lost in five games that year uh, in the first round of the playoffs, 4-1 to one to the Boston Bruins, but the Hurricanes are back in the postseason here in 2021, and they actually clinched this central division alongside some really good powerhouse teams in that division. They, you know, beat out teams like the Nashville Predators who made the playoffs, the Florida Panthers, and yes, even the Tampa Bay Lightning. They clinched the central division this year, and this has been a huge opportunity for the Hurricanes. They have these unbelievable jerseys. I'm going to be picking up the white jersey here over the next couple weeks. Uh, you have this jersey, the white jersey that says Canes across it, literally... Some bad things would probably happen with that jersey with me and that jersey, but let's just be honest, that is a beautiful jersey, and they just have the storm surge, and the fans, and the bunch of jerks thing, and Rod Brendamore brought a lot of that to Carolina. Don Waddell, the owner, had a lot to do with that, like, uh, Tom Dundon, the owner, had a lot to do with that, like, there is just so much about this Carolina Hurricanes team that it's incredible what they've done, and like I said, they remind me a lot of the New York Islanders in the regard that they were a team that could not find success for anything. And in comes Barry Trotz, in comes Rod Brendamore, and has completely rewritten the story for this team. 
for each of their teams respectively. And I, I know Hurricanes fans hate when I do this when I compare them to the Islanders, but it really is true. A team that had no sort of structure or identity sort of got that under a new owner, under a new manager, and a new head coach, and it changed everything for the team. And the success for the Hurricanes, you know, is really, it's remarkable. Just the marketing and the jerseys and the team they've built. I mean, look at, you know, everything that's happened with Sebastian Ajo and Andrei Svechnikov. Yes, you needed a little bit of luck at the draft table, but this is a team that has just done some things that they have really built up their team. Jacob Slavin on the blue line. You look, one of the best blue lines in the NHL. The Carolina Hurricanes are a legit franchise. And I really hope they go on a nice run here in the playoffs. I love Tampa Bay. But if there's one team I want to see come out of the Central Division this year, it's probably the Carolina Hurricanes. I think they just have so much potential. And they're a team that, let's be honest, they could win the Stanley Cup here in 2021. They are not only a good team anymore. They're not only a playoff team. They are a legit Stanley Cup contender. And you could argue on the fringe of elite. But you know what would get them in that elite category along teams like Tampa? is winning that damn Stanley Cup. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. How far will the Carolina Hurricanes go in the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs? Huge move here for the Carolina Hurricanes, getting Rod Brendamore signed back in Carolina. A huge extension for not only Rod Brendamore, but the entire franchise down in Carolina. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below of them keeping Rod Brendamore. He signed a lucrative contract, I think $1.6 million per season. Season. That's topping Mike Babcock's $1 million deal uh, per season in Toronto. So he's one of the higher paid head coaches in the NHL. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and let's go Canes.